Hello again, this is Allison Rosso with the Minnesota Department of Agriculture uh, with part three of the Commercial Animal Waste Technician Applicator Licensing Training. Uh, we've just covered the history of CAWT, the definitions of company, site manager, and applicator. And now we'll go over the steps you need to take to become licensed and what your duties and responsibilities are in the field. Uh, so to become licensed, uh, step one is to get a license. <laughs> this is new. Uh, you didn't need one before and things have changed. So going through the process that you're going now, getting training and following through with a license is the most significant change and is step one. Uh, step two, this is now an all online process. It was designed that way at the request of the industry to ensure applicator licenses can be issued quickly and from anywhere. So first you'll need to fill out an online application at the Minnesota Department of Agriculture's website, pay the fee online with a credit card, watch this designated two hour online video training, and take a brief online exam and pass. And once you successfully complete these steps, you will be a licensed CAWT applicator and you are allowed to apply manure to the ground. Uh, you want to print off the proof of completion of your training and keep it with you until a hard copy of your license is in the mail to your employer. Some of your duties as a licensed CAWT applicator is to work under the supervision of a licensed CAWT site manager. Supervision in this case is very specific uh, it means that a CAWT licensed site manager uh, needs to maintain voice or phone contact with all applicators at all times. They need to be on site more than half of the time of the application, and they need to be within 45 minutes of the site at all time. The site, again, encompasses locations where loading, agitation, pumping, hauling, and field application occurs. One example of why voice or phone contact is important is if an inspector or regulator asks about the operation or the plans for application or sees you working or applying in the field, they will first ask to speak to your site manager to get more information about the application. Without this voice or phone contact, you'll be in violation of your issued license. Other duties as a licensed applicator are to carry a proof of license or your MDA issued license card at all times. Again, you're responsible for understanding the environmental risks, safety hazards, and legal requirements of manure handling, transport, application, and management. Manure is an important agricultural commodity that helps crop production, soil quality, and farming life as we know it. It's also important that manure be managed and applied properly to minimize negative impacts on the environment, such as water contamination, runoff, and pollution. Another important duty is to report any spills to the Minnesota duty officer. The phone number 1-800-422-0798 should be readily available and familiar to you. The duty officer will put you in contact with the appropriate state agency officials will document, manage, and work to minimize the risks associated with any manure spills. Other considerations as a licensed manure applicator uh, are if you are using any instinct or NSERV in the manure mix that you're applying. If you are, you are required to also have a commercial pesticide license through the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. The applicator, in this case of a pesticide application, needs to be licensed, not the mixer or manager. So check with your site manager or the director of operations to make sure that if those products, Instinct or NSERV, are being used, you have the appropriate licenses. Another responsibility is to keep the company sign clean. The license number, which is printed on all application equipment, needs to be clearly visible by any inspectors or regulators and it's one of your duties to make sure that that can be easily seen. And again, call the Minnesota duty officer in case of any spills. If you have any questions about this training, your license, any regulation or enforcement, feel free to call the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. Our general line is 
201-661-6615. We have a lot of more information on the website. There's also the Site Manager's Manual that you can reference. It's a guide with more tools, more information, and appendices to help you learn about the work you're doing and the license that you're being issued. Thank you for watching the rest of this presentation uh, and learning about licensing and the Commercial Animal Waste Technician Program. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a good day.